in a hole. All right, to start, we're going to add one liter or one and three quarters pints of milk to a, to a pan, pot, and do it while you don't spill all the milk, like apparently I'm prone to do. Just a little bit. Okay, and next we're going to add to our milk 100 grams of sugar. Go ahead and add that. And then we're going to add 300 grams of double zero flour. Add that, okay, and then I'm going to add 100 grams of unsweetened cocoa. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and stir that all together until it's smooth. Okay, we're going to be stirring this continually while we bring it to a boil. And once we bring it up to a boil, we're going to go ahead and remove that from the heat. Okay, in this first step, basically we're making a cooked chocolate pudding. And this will serve as the filling for our Rosa's pudding. Okay, that has just about reached a boil, and so we're going to go ahead and do the next step and remove that from the heat. And okay, now that we've removed our pudding from the heat, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the zest from one lemon. Put that in there. Okay. And then we're going to add three egg yolks. We're going to go ahead and add that. And we're going to whisk it in. Important that you keep whisking that. Um, not unlike a carbonara, you don't want scrambled eggs in your pudding. So you want to have that mixed in without scrambling it. As long as you keep moving, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Okay, now the next step is to line our pudding mold. So while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and let this uh, rest out of the way. Set that aside. Okay. Okay, our next step is to make our sauce for our lady fingers. Uh, we're going to use a shallow bowl because we are going to be dipping our lady fingers into the sauce. And to begin with, you add five tablespoons of amaretto. Get them as exact as we can. Okay, and then there's our five. And we will have to save this for later. <laughs> Set that aside. And then we're going to add an equal amount of water. That's five tablespoons of water to our amaretto. Okay. And there's that. So we'll just give that a little stir around a little bit. Okay, the mold that you use, I suppose, is up to you. We didn't actually have a pudding mold. We do have an angel food cake mold, which is what we're going to be using today. So we're going to start by dipping our lady fingers in our mixture, get them a little bit moist, and just lining the sides and the bottom with those. So we'll go ahead and do, and go ahead and do that until you're done. The recipe does call for 16, but really that's going, to that's going to depend upon the size of the container you're using, the mold that you're using. I'm looking at ours, we might be a little over 16, but that's just what the general recipe calls for. Okay, next we're going to bring the camera in close so you can see how we lined our, our mold with lady fingers. Turned out pretty well. And then we're going to add our pudding. And for those of you who are wondering, I got a little warm, so I switched to an apron rather than my sweater that I had on, if anyone's wondering. So we're going to go ahead and slowly add this, if we can. Okay, we have our mold filled with our pudding and our lady fingers. We ended up using a, a bigger one than we realized, so we actually did have to make another batch of pudding to put in here. Um, we used a couple of packs at least of the uh, lady fingers. I didn't actually count, but it was a few more than 16. But we have the finished product here. Uh, well, almost a finished product. 
We're going to put some saran wrap or cling wrap over the top and we're going to let it go into the refrigerator to chill and to set up for two to three hours. Okay, Rosa's pudding is just about finished. It's still setting in the refrigerator, but we're almost ready to take it out. So we're going to go ahead and make our, our uh, syrup for it. We're going to use four tablespoons of water along with 200 grams of sugar. Let me go ahead and get that started. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do is cook that down until it's a nice kind of a golden color, almost like a caramel. So there's four of those. Okay, so we're going to add our sugar. That was 200 grams, and we're going to stir that while it heats. Okay, our syrup is done. It is a very nice light brown color. Uh, smells a lot like caramel, and it's looking good. Now the next step is we're going to remove our cake from the pan, or our pudding rather, from the pan. Flip it onto a plate and um, get ready to add the syrup. Okay, so our pudding is here, it's ready to go. We're gonna remove the plastic wrap. And I'll let you learn a little secret. I've never done this before. So I'm gonna attempt to do this without having it collapse. So send a little prayer up my way because I'm not sure about this. I'd never done this before, so cut me a little slack, but we're going to go ahead and pour the syrup over this guy and see where we are. Again, it's not perfect, but I think we kind of get the idea. And okay, there is our collapsing pudding. <laughs> Rose's pudding. It's not the prettiest thing we've ever done, and I'm not good at this, uh, you know, adding the syrup and stuff like that, but we kind of get the idea. Um, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. Um, yeah, and then we have to let that sit up for a bit before we can actually eat it. It's okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that set up and hope that it doesn't collapse anymore. And again, this is shows you my lack of skill. I'm not a professional chef, but here you go. Okay, so here's our final product. A couple things that we thought of that may have gone wrong. We did do a, bit, a larger, a larger dish than we thought we, you know, than originally it called for, and we may not have let it set long enough in the refrigerator, um, which definitely could be a problem. And also, we possibly could have let our lady fingers soak a little bit too much in that amaretto sauce that we made. Either way, it's turned out like this. It doesn't look the best, but the important part is how does it taste. So I'm going to go ahead and give this baby a taste test and tell you what I think. If you can see my face, I'm smiling, because it may not look perfect, but it tastes fantastic. That chocolate pudding in there is great. The lady fingers taste fantastic. You can taste the amaretto. Um, our syrup did get a little bit hard, but it tastes good too. Mm. I'm going to give this a thumbs up. The next time we try this, we might do a little bit smaller of a dish and try to make it a little closer to the uh, recipe that we did before. But overall, looks aside, it turned out great. I would definitely make this again. So with that in mind, I'm going to have another bite. It was awfully good. And we'll see you next time.